All right, guys. So we're back, and I'm on a separate character right now, one that's uh at the base on Nivik. So we're collecting the stuff for the quest. So I think it was three bars, three sheets, and something else. Oh, and wire or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, so we're gonna get all that stuff. Then we're gonna head down to the uh, the Liberator to meet up with our little our other character. There's quite a few people on, so I'm a little bit afraid of getting killed. So we're just going to hope that doesn't happen. Oh, there's some wire there. Alright. I'm, I'm having trouble finding metal in our house, too. Uh, people must have used it all to build onto the base upstairs, or the next story of our base. Hmm, so... Worst case scenario, we have to go to the quarry. But uh, I'll meet you guys when I'm in the boat. All right, guys. So we're back, and I want you to, or I want you guys to see the boat garage because you guys don't really get a chance to see it most of the time, since it's something we rarely use. What's that cow doing? Is he like walking? Oh, poor guy, he's stuck. All right, but yeah, this is our dinghy. Brought three gas cans to fill it up. Two, and here's the final one. Alright, we're ready to go boating. So we're going to take our right out of here and go all the way down. Oh god. Inverted controls. This is terrible. Let's close the garage behind us. Uh oh. Glitchy. Okay, here we go. How many? Oh, you can fit five people in here. That's awesome. F1, please. All right. We went the right way. Yes, we did. So we're just going to follow this all the way down, and I'll meet you guys at the Liberator. Boats are a lot of fun, got to say. <laughs> all right, guys. Here we are approaching the Liberator. We are in the safe zone, which is awesome. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where my other character is, because I don't actually remember. Oh, we took damage. Um, and then I'm going to drop the items from this character on to the ground. And then I'll cut and meet you guys with the character that's actually going to do the quest. Oops, glitchy. All right, see you guys in a few. Okay, so we just dropped the metal and wire and such um, to the other character. We're logging on right now to pick it up. We should be at the same location as where he dropped it. There it is. All right. We brought a bunch of extra metal just in case we want to give it to somebody so they can do the quest too. We're going to be nice, you know? All right. Hello? Who wanted it again? Was it you? No. Well, obviously it wasn't Grumbles. I don't know why I'm even talking to him. I think it was a guy up here. I, oh no, this is... <laughs> I'm so dumb. Okay, this, this is the generator quest. quest, Or not generator, but uh, ship engine quest. So we need to go all the way down to the basement. And report, repair this horribly dangerous looking machine over here. Like this is like what happens when you put stuff in the dryer and it's not like evenly spread. It starts bouncing around. Not good, man. I don't know why they're putting their clothes in their uh, ship engine, but they should cut it out. Wait, he didn't want it. Was it Scruffy? Not Scruffy. What's his name? Fluffy? Rusty. Oh, it's not Rusty. Oh my gosh, did I really forget who wants it? Um, Are you a ship mechanic? You look like it. Oh, there we go. All right. We have everything for it. Bam. Thanks. I'll get to work on that engine as soon as I get the chance. Goodbye. All right, so is it going to be fixed now? Let's go over here and see. Look at that. It's running smoothly. Good stuff. So what quests do we have left? We have two left, I guess. And these both seem very, very terrible. 
All right, maybe we'll go find the research capsules, huh? I wonder where they are on Silo. We're probably going to burn through all our gas masks trying to do this, aren't we? Oh, well, it'll be worth it. Crap, how do I get two accounts back with one vehicle? Oh, no. Hmm... Oh, we need to make this bayonet, too. I forgot about that. Wait, let's see if he has anything else for us. What do you got for us, man? Um, Alright, how much is the blueprint? We don't want another one, anyway. But, let's see. 170 wowzers, man. That is not cheap. Okay, so now we're going to... I guess we're just going to take the boat and leave our other character here. If I remember where our boat is. Where did we leave it? Hmm. On the other side of the boat? Oh, it was on that weird, like, railing thing. Okay. I think the best way to do this is to go up here first. 100%. Alright, we're good. Well, now we have a character stuck in in the safe zone. That's alright. We'll be fine. We'll be safe, if you will. <laughs> Come on, repair it. Oh, we're in the safe zone. I can't repair it. Duh. Okay, now we just gotta figure out the right... Ooh, inverted. Um, the right spot to go back up. Like, I don't know where the river is. Oh, there it is. Okay. We're good. Okay, so I'm gonna meet you guys um, back at the house. We're gonna gear to go to the dead zone, and we're gonna try to find the Scorpion 7 dead zone spots, or whatever they're called. Wait, wrong one. Yeah, the research caps capsules. Yes, indeed. This should be good. Wait, do we get anything cool from it? Experience and reputation, not bad. Our current reputation is 45. Wow. That's pretty awesome. And I'm hoping we don't die on the way back home. That would be a bummer. Okay, but yeah, like I said, I'll meet you guys over there. Don't shoot. Alright guys, we're back. And by the way, somebody uh, somebody stole our helicopter last night, which kind of sucks. Um, they freeformed all the way up from over there. Like, that must have taken some major time. What douches. But, yeah, that sucks. I don't know. Oh, we don't have an umbrella. This is going to be bad news. We actually don't have any bandages either. Okay, we're going to go get bandages. Um, we got the gas mask. Um, and we have four filters, so hopefully, that, hopefully that'll hopefully that be enough. I don't know if it will be or not. Okay, where's the, where's the hatch? Oh, there is no hatch. Awkward. Okay, so, yeah, I'll meet you guys near the dead zone. And we're just going to drive around and try to find it. Okay, I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so we're back, and I still haven't left the base. I'm really nervous to do it. Um, Friday nights, like, the server tends to fill to, like, capacity. We have 19 players on. And we have people like Money for Fun, who, he's negative 70. He actively looks for people to kill. Like, I'm nervous just standing in our courtyard right now. I'm gonna go inside. Um, I don't... I don't... This guy's being annoying. How do you build a base? Dude, fucking Google it, man. Come on. I'm not gonna sit here and, like, walk him through it. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I don't know. I'm just really nervous. I don't know what to do. So I pretty much have two options here. Either I could produce a mini video 
and release it like later tonight. Or I could wait until the server dies down around 3 or 4 in the morning, but my dog just died and I was planning on having a good number of beers. So I don't know if I don't want to record drunk. Um, so I don't really know what to hear, do here, guys. Like, I don't want to be running around in the dead zone. And, like, getting to the dead zone, we're probably going to get shot at. And maybe we won't. Should we just go for it? Do I have anything to lose, anyway? Not really. I guess maybe we put these blueprints away. We can try to figure out how to make the bayonet real quick. Okay. <laughs> we're going to look at this guy. Guide to creating a tactical bayonet attachment for guns. So what the heck are these things? That looks like fire. What is that? Okay, let's think about this logically. Bayonet. Tape, maybe, right? Let's see. We're going to try to figure this out by ourselves. Explosive arrow! Because I assume you need tape, a knife, Alright, let's take another look. So we're going to say this is tape. Maybe this is wire. This looks like a... Some type of knifey thing. Maybe we need fire? Okay, we're going to go... Um, we're going to go up to the kitchen. Is this it? All right, oh, this is it. Okay. So we're going to turn the stove on. Lighter on up. And now we're going to search for a bayonet or something. We're just going to make a bunch of random stuff till we figure it out. I am set on not going online to figure this out. So you guys have to watch me struggle through it. Okay. Um, so for a cable tie, we need another wire. So now we can make this. What do we do with a cable tie? What is a cable tie? Can we place it places? Look up a surrendering person. Oh, lock. Oh, this is just like a crappy handcuff. <laughs> we just made crappy handcuffs. Oh, man. All right, guys. What I'm going to do is going to run around here grabbing all the crafting supplies that I can possibly find. And then we're going to attempt to make this darn thing. So I'll meet you guys back when I have a bunch of crafting stuff. Oh, my God, guys. I found it. All right. I crafted a sheet. And then just scrolled all the way down. Apparently it's four sheets to make a bayonet. Oh man. Alright, we figured it out. We can make this now. Uh, I wish we hadn't left um, the ship. But we did. Oh, we need another sheet. Uh oh. What can we scrap? Oh, we can scrap his knife. For two. Nice. She took Boom! Bayonet! Stabby, stabby, stabby! <laughs> I wonder if this is any good. Still scared to leave my house. Um. All right, we're going to go try to try this out on some zombies, I think. We might have to change the hotkey from B to something else. Okay, we're going to get rid of these this gas mask for now, too. Because we're not going to do this until the server calms down a little bit more. And he might give us the four-barrel shotgun after we go show him the great job we did making this thing.
Oh, it's daytime. Good. Okay, so there's a little campsite down next to our boat. So we might go to the campsite. And then go down to the boat. So right behind that keep out sign, there's a trap. It's like one of those little spiky metal things. I freaking hit it every time, I'm telling you. Alright, let's go stab some zombies in the face, huh? What the frick? Fuck this dude, man. We stabbed him so many times. So does it do like no damage? I don't understand. Alright, let's get another guy on us. Hey buddy. Is it glitchy? Or what's going on here? Oh my god, it's like super glitchy. <sighs> Orange bedroll. They drop bed bedrolls? I did not know that. Freaking guy. What the frick? It doesn't hit him. Oh my god. Oh my god, it shows like it does. But then it just doesn't. Oh my god. I, maybe I don't understand how this thing works, but this is super derpy. So what happened, guys? We ran out of gas. Um... I don't think this farm has gas, but we're going to go check. Make sure our boat's locked. Oh, it's not locked. Wow. That could have been bad. So yeah, we have to make a quick pit stop here. I have a bunch of gas cans, no gas on me. Pretty awkward. Oh, we're supposed to go to the farm. Why do we go this way? Oh, you know what? There's a mechanic right up here that we're going to go up to and grab some gas. Hopefully no one messes with our vehicle while we're gone. Alright, we got the boat all fueled up. Oh my god! That guy tried to kill me? Oh my god. I didn't even see him. What the fuck? Oh, that was so terrifying. That was too scary. Too freaking scary. Oh, did you see that dismount? Right in here. Yeah. Alright, let's go talk to the scientist. What? We got your stupid bayonet, man. Man, we have such high ranking. Yeah, we have deputy. And yet they won't give us another rank. I don't understand. Give us another rank, you dillhole. 
about time you're promoted. Oh my god, this is it, guys. We're getting promoted. Uh, you've been an exemplary ensign. Well, I think that's how you say it. You guys corrected me last time, or er, a few episodes ago. And it's about time you were promoted. If you're ready, I'm prepared to make you a lieutenant. Oh my god. Thank you. I won't let you down. I'm sure you won't. Here are your lieutenant fatigues. <gasps> so we have a vest now. Oh, it's similar to military vest, I guess. I wonder if it has the same armor and stuff. Maybe we should test that at some point. That is so cool, though. Coalition vest. And then more of his crap. He didn't give us pants, though, man. He's like, all right, man, the garb for lieutenant. You got to go pantsless. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Silly fella. I'm the deputy to a major. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, can I do anything new with this new rank? And does it show up? No. Hmm. All right, so we're at the clothing gal right now. Oh, snap. Oh, we got a coalition helmet this time. Very cool. That's so cool. Okay. So. What's the difference between these two? This one has bigger pockets. Bigger pockets are important, guys. <laughs> um, that's awesome that we actually have armored stuff now, though. After all the sets of armor come out, I think we're going to do some testing on it. But we'll see. Cool. Okay. Should we buy a pair of pants? I don't know. Alright. So, let's see what the time is at. Yeah, I think I've been recording for way too long. This might be a huge episode. Though I might have to split into two pieces. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys chilling with me and watching through the series. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, in the next episode, I think we're either going to try to do the Horde... We'll probably try to do the Horde Beacon in the airport. That sounds the most interesting. Because, I mean, the silo thing, like the dead zone thing, is just going to be me wandering randomly around. Trying to figure out where... Um, what are they called? The research capsules um, are left... So, I don't know, I also don't know how we get the double barrel shotgun. Try this one more time. Hmm. Okay, we might just not be doing this stuff in the right order. So yeah, until next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, have a great day or night.